what is best in life. Uh, today we are joining the Sultan Alandin for episode 16 of Zoroastrian Restoration, where beginning as a, a single county sheikh in the Persian Empire under the Abbasids, I am trying to uh, conquer the Persian Empire and become Seoshant, the savior or one of the three saviors of the Zoroastrian religion. I am going to, I have some titles to distribute uh, if you see my Demesne limit is one over, I'll just get the clock turning. I'll turn down the speed a little bit. Um, so I have one title, a city title to distribute. And none of my family need it. So I will search all for men of my religion and my culture and uh, uh, adults as it's a city, ruler, married, adults yes save this filter as slot one and we will see men with high oh that's myself with the uh, highest stewardship someone else with a high stewardship mastermind theologian her bad of her mo here's an existing mayor a steward a lustful stressed oh a genius here we go uh we will I can't directly offer him the title, so I will send him a gift. Soon after writing the Chinese emperor, a very grateful emissary arrived with several guards to escort Hu Zhengling back to the Chinese empire. You can't understand what they'll do to me, screamed Zhengling as he was dragged out. Well, you shouldn't have irritated the emperor. I gained 300 grace with the Tang empire. And the steward of Shiraz. I will invite him to court. Yes, he will come to court. All right, and as a courtier, I will grant him the landed title, the city of Cursa. And now we have a genius and I will arrange a marriage for him. Um, He's got to get married and producing genius little kids. Uh, 23. There we go. Now produce genius babies for my kingdom. Uh, now I need to find some concubines. So I will filter slot zero. Uh, I thought slot zero was women. Okay, I will go uh, women in all. Uh, married, no. Uh, Diplo range, yes. Um, ruler, married, no. Adult, yes, because they want to be these concubines. Mayor Aisha, my co conspirator, tells me that a man is now on the inside of prison where Sheikh A. Banifesh sits. He will arrange an escape attempt in which one of the prisoners will sadly suffer a very fatal accident. Uh, all right. So we'll save this filter as slot one. Now these are potential concubines. Now, are there any geniuses? No. Are there any? Oh, I don't need my religion or my culture because they will have children of any religion, any culture. Save filters, uh, slot zero. And... They mentioned my name, Banifish was killed. Uh, however, I am now uh, branded a murderer. Oh, sucks to be her. I can imprison, imprison the mayor, but I won't. Uh, so now there are only 60 year olds who don't make suitable concubines. Ah, uh, here's a 22 year old. She's got lover's pox though. Uh, here's a lustful 46-year-old, a 52-year-old. A son was born. A land in the wise and my son. Now I will try to give him a conscientious upbringing or a thrift. Conscientious stewardship plus one. 
and this will be stewardship plus one or learning plus one. I'll give him a thrift upbringing and then assign a guardian. Actually, I'll stay as guardian and see if I can make. All right, here is a quick potential spouse for him. Kazan, yes, uh, Kazaria, actually. That might even be a suitable, uh, a suitable pact member. Now here, now can I form alliance? No. If I send him a gift, 23. All right, I'll just send the 23. Now, will he be interested in sort of forming an alliance then? Yes. And I have my alliance. And, okay, now I need... Oh, I wish this 22-year-old didn't have lover's box. And, okay, one of the children has been raised. 26, 15, 42. And my alliance is secured. Here's a 33-year-old, a lustful 33-year-old, though. Can I take her as a concubine? No. Um, I'll keep her in mind. Here we go. Here's a 24-year-old. Now, can I take her as a concubine? Apparently not. To my sincere, Alandon, may you live in harmony and contentment. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against the Khazarians in revolt. Declining will cost you zero prestige and will break the alliance. I'll accept. Just don't expect too much actual help. That's not my style. Cynical. Uh, so... If I cannot do better, I'll come back to Yeldum, 59-year-old. Okay, it looks like Yeldum it is, and I will attempt to abduct her and bring her to my court. I have put out word among the brethren and the assassins. When an opportunity presents itself, the brothers and sisters in Schwaben will attempt to snatch Yeldum and bring her to me in chains. Excellent. This might take a while. And a 42-year-old ambitious oh i wish i i wish he was younger than 42 and then this is the 22 year old with pox quick and a 19 year old quick but she is frail my fellow assassins have informed me that yeldon plans to travel to the realm incognito for a dark she will only be protected by two loyal friends during this little adventure. A great opportunity to have her abducted. Yes, I approve the scheme. They failed to capture her, though apparently they slew a guard and a servant in the attempt. Now, is she still... No, uh, they're still trying to abduct her. Now, here's a 19-year-old, but she's frail. 59-year-old... 25 year old it looks like Yeldum is now let's see if there's a strong and attractive <laughs> she's an imbecile oh it's a horse glitter hoof hmm no thank you uh, 36 year old strong charitable kind all right so we're just trying to find a um, another my wife another concubine I'm trying to kidnap one I can I should disband this army now idle council members my spy master should be scheming on my behalf trying to keep me alive and my marshal I don't have a marshal for some reason uh, my most qualified marshal is the mayor, the uh, qualified genius who adores me, or it's the Sheik of Destan who's terrible and has a horrible opinion of me. Uh, I think I'll just go with the mayor who is actually competent at his job, trained troops in Gurgan. And now the highest, the post of Gurgan is by far and away the highest tax base. Now where's my... Uh, Chancellor or uh, Derek Pat. My Derek Pat, uh, Mayor, in Caswin to collect taxes. Let's switch him 
to Gurgan and get the bonus there to 110. Now I'm actually gaining 31 gold pieces a day. Now I might as well get this. I'm trying to conquer Azerbaijan. Let's see what the titles are. Uh, these guys are having a lot of trouble with the Byzantine Empire, so I don't think they're very powerful right now. It says he can only raise his army has been wiped out. Now, can I declare war on him? Border dispute de jure claim on Azerbaijan. The Sheikdom of Azerbaijan. Now, which? Azerbaijan, Solnik. So let's see which of these. This is a three or a four holding uh, Sheikdom. Three, four. So I guess I'll go for Shirvan as it's the um, most wealthy of the holdings. I wish I could uh, take all of my uh, de jure claims all at once, but I'll go and make a de jure claim on Shirvan. He's going to call in Emirate of Antioch. I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Now we can call in allies. I will call in my ally. Uh, now I will raise my military and make a rally point. I guess they're going to rally in Galan. Uh, that's just as good as any. And I'm hoping that I won't need to... I'm hoping I won't need to raise levies. All right, he's going to honor his obligation. Now, where is the Khan? Is he just up north? Oh, he's a fair ways away from me. Kazaria. Oh, no. He's closer there. Okay, so he's just to the north, actually. So he may actually be a useful ally. Now, we'll get back down here and see how this war unfolds. I just want to make sure I don't end up... Yes, Alandon must not be in charge. Oh, I need more... Uh, I need more commanders who are not of the royal family. Um, the court physician, he's in the royal family too. The sheik is terrible, but he hates me. He can go. Uh, the sheik of Alamut is, can go. And... Oh, I have terrible commanders. But nevertheless, I'm not going to risk my royal family in a uh, battle. So, uh, so yeah, Sheik Karen of Diastan, he can lead the battle. And the mayor. And okay, so we have some very bad uh, commanders. We'll be leading that. And yes, I did distribute that city title, so I gave that city title to the genius. And I have some assassins trying to uh, look out for a wife for me. And my chancellor is, yes, trying to fabricate a claim on Kurdistan so I can snap up that duchy before it gets reabsorbed by the Abbasids. So I will unite this army. I meant to unite it, not... Uh... Hmm. There we go. United and go and take the war goal. And I don't see any army whatsoever opposing me. So this might be a cakewalk or I might just be misunderstanding what's going on. And uh, my monthly uh, balance is still going up by 26. So I think I will actually build a hospital to try to spread. For 95 gold, I'll build a hospital. My experience in matters of war has increased and there are many things that will you will do differently in future battles. What will you focus on? Master desert terrain, desert expert, combat and desert plus 20%, flanker, flanking 20%. Uh, I'll do desert terrain. My brethren are not having much luck in their attempts to abduct Yeldon. Perhaps the assassins are not influential enough to pull it off. Should I call it off? No, I'll just be patient. I need a concubine and uh, one that's uh, suitable to my stature. So we will continue with the siege. 
It's a rather large garrison and a rather large castle, but I don't see any retaliation so far. And... And it looks like that Alamut isn't going to pass out of my patrimony anymore. That warning has gone away, so I take it that the uh, chances of it leaving my kingdom have gone away as well. At least I hope that's the case. And which is these Azerbaijan? Sultan Abdullah of the Ukalid. There we go, zero war score. And he's got the Kagan, and I've got the Kagan on my side. It doesn't look like his ally came in on his side. So, a message about a point counselor offer you the title of my spy master i gratefully accept i will be your spy master and i will be sieging down azerbaijan that's one castle now where else on the silk road could i acquire another Oh, uh, no, I already own this trade route. There's no uh, Silk Road trade route in the Statue of Azerbaijan. Uh, the nearest one is here. Uh, my fellows in the Assassins have informed me that Yeldon plans to travel the realm incognito. Yes, go ahead and try to get her. And they failed again, so now she hates me. Her opinion of me is negative 100. Somehow she knows it's me that's trying to uh, kidnap her. Now, the nearest Silk Road trade route is Estefan. I believe that one of my vassals can be discouraged from associating with fashions. Let's obligate the vassal. Yes, are there any intrigues against me? And uh, the Sheik of Alamut, and the Sheik of Tabaristan. What should I do? 342 gold to compose a book. I'm not going to do that. Um, I will search for a smith, though. A weaponsmith to forge me a deadly weapon. I am in need of a new set of armor. Find the farmer's armor. Find a goldsmith to create jewels befitting of my status. A jewel smith, I think. Borrow money from the assassins. The grandmaster will get in contact. Donate money. Use hashish from the assassins. I will inhale the drugs provided by the order and soon see their effects. My fellows assassins have informed me Yeldon plans to travel the realm incognito again. She travels the realm incognito a lot considering all the abduction schemes, but I will approve the plan. And the assassins only have 23. My incompetent brethren again failed to capture her. They only have 23% influence. And I need 750 divine power to uh, level up. And I only have 600. During the last few days, I have overheard the same conversation again and again. Apparently, a most renowned goldsmith is traveling through the Jaws Shodham. And my courtier courtiers are prattling excitedly about his work. Perhaps I should invite this man and employ his services. Nothing displays authority like fine jewelry. Yes. The goldsmith Ashfar courteously accepted my invitation and arrived at court a mere week later. He presented me with some sketches of his previous work and several letters of recommendation. I am assured of his skill, although I ask myself just how much money I can spare for a set of crown jewels. Uh, because of my high prestige, I can spend 1,600 gold. All right, I'll do it. I'll spend the 1,600 gold. A total waste of money, but... Let's just see what 1,600 gold will buy me. I've never done this before. So, uh, my war score. 
As I'm walking towards Master Ashvar's smithy, I could not hear the sound of progress, but instead the sound of voices talking. I found Ashvar and my cousin Farzad discussing different metals and their compositions. All this talk was making my head spin and definitely halting the progress in the work I have ordered. There's, there is no harm in Ashvar taking some time to help Farzad uh, lose 50 prestige, gain one stewardship. What does he think I'm doing? Gain 75 prestige. I'll gain the stewardship and lose the prestige. Fate smiles on me. My wife, Tanaz, is pregnant. And a son was born. Oh, great. I've got a nephew. Um, let's see here. He should do really well. We'll give him the education focus. Heritage, faith. Uh, idolizer. Uh, I don't want him to take it the Buddhist faith. I want him to be a Zoroastrian. So we'll give him the uh, steward, stewardship duty, conscientiousness. You've been presented with an opportunity to let everyone be reminded of your rulership. If you wish to mint new coins for your realm, there is a matter of there is a master of the craft that you can hire. Not only will the mintage be exquisite, it will be adorned with a glorious portrait of you. Uh, debase the gold medals for profits. And no, I didn't get the bad trait, and I debased the coins and gained. Now I can make a marriage for my nephew. Young Gazelle has finished her education in the ways of intrigue. It is evident she has excelled in her studies. All right. And she has a claim to Kazaria. Is there anyone with any strong here we go uh someone with a strong trait there we go get the strong trait into my dynasty somewhere news from china intending to enforce their subjugation as a tributary state of the tang empire their protector general zhao Qiu of the western protectorate has declared war upon uh Kuwats. Han armies are already marching towards the realm, and it seems possible that this spells the end of the Khazarian independence. He's not my relative, is he? May their gods protect them. Blessings upon you and your house. I have accepted the suggestion of a betrothal uh, of my nephew. I have high hopes for my uh, Asian, Persian, Zoroastrian nephew. And... I am overcome with excitement and curiosity when Ashfar informed me the crown jewels were completed. As I am waiting in my throne for his servants to carry the great box across the room, I struggle not to leap up and meet them halfway. When I finally touch the heavy lid, my hands are shaking. Regalia, worthy of a true sultan, adds heavenly circlet to the treasury of the sultan of land in the wise, and staff of majesty to the treasury of sultan of land in the wise. So let me see what I have gained a staff of majesty plus three feudal vassal opinion plus two city vassal opinion plus two tribal vassal opinion you've been spending countless hours sketching up plans for your different building projects when you suddenly realize how you could display your extraordinary architectural skills you will build a grand tower that will dwarf everything else in the landscape this will be glorious and a heavenly circlet uh, plus three feudal vassal opinion plus two city vassal opinion plus five prestige the tower construction will need a mason to work for the stone for both beauty and strength the question is whom should you hire for this delicate uh work and lose 25 gold i'll just hire boy off the street all over the realm, the word has spread of your prestigious building project. While some might be skeptical, most of the vassals are openly impressed with the scale of the planned tower. The doubters will be proven wrong. I hope it doesn't fall down because I just hired a scallywag. Oh no, there's a fight going on. Fandad has been working tirelessly, planning the stones for the tower. He now approaches you and petitions for extra funds. Uh, very well, we'll pay a little extra. I am barely winning this battle that I wasn't paying attention to. I have found proof that there is a plot brewing in the realm. 
for the construction of a building this large can begin, we need to make sure we have enough high quality stone. Your steward suggests importing the stone from a reliable trade partner. While it could be beneficial to the region to have access to a nearby quarry. 943 gold. I'll just pay the 300 gold. During construction of your Grand Tower in Gagan, a couple of the workers were killed by a falling granite block as the ropes snapped. People are now demanding stricter security measures as well as compensation to the families. Uh, do I, what does cruel grain gain me? Negative one, facile opinion, negative five. Uh, I'll compensate the damn families. Sultan Alandin ascended to heaven at age 34. He was murdered on the orders of Sheikh Fazal. Of Beersheb, always patient, he never lost his temper. A godly man, Alandon is with Mana now. Sultan Barad. Sultan Barad of Moose Jaws, with terrible statistics. So be it. My. Uh, I have passed away. And I receive a message about a point counselor. Ah, well, it looks like my ambition is to become a counselor. And now Sultan Barad has terrible statistics and I have a sister wife. Hmm. Well, and I begin by fulfilling my ambition to become a counselor. And the uh, battle for Azerbaijan continues. And I will end this episode a little bit earlier there with the death of uh, uh, Sultan Alandin, uh, the one good, well statted Sultan that we had. The rest of the family appears to be made of weaker sauce. Perhaps he was uh, a cuckold in the nest. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. It's unfortunate that Sultan uh, Alandon died. He at least uh, did make one achievement, uh, bringing in the, uh, we're in business. So he did make an achievement and perhaps Sultan Barad, his brother, married to his sister wife, can make an achievement as well before passing. I certainly hope so. His statistics would suggest otherwise though. He's pretty miserable. Uh, I guess joining the assassins is not a healthy career choice, uh, but we'll end it there. And if you've enjoyed the video and this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you receive notification of my other videos. Thank you for watching and have a good day.